Alrighty guys, what is the best way to pull focus while hand holding your camera? I'll tell you, it's not with this. How's it going guys, my name is Andrew Murphy from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. So I've been using this small rig focus handle for ages now and don't get me wrong, this is probably the best manual focus handle thing on the market at the moment. It's super smooth and it works absolutely great. But the one thing I don't like about this is that when you're using this handheld, all of the weight of the camera is in like one of your hands, which results in not so stable footage. And if you are shooting like this for a long period of time, I personally get super fatigued super quickly when I'm using this and holding the camera with one hand. Plus to do a focus pull from minimum to maximum on a cinema lens with this smoothly, nearly impossible to do. So after having all these problems, I decided to look for a better solution that would basically fix all these issues. And that's why I ended up getting this focus handle from Tilter, and I'll show you exactly why. The Tilter focus handle allows you to connect to the Nucleus Nano focus motor and control it through a little scroll wheel with just your index finger. Plus as a bonus, you're still able to actually grip and stabilize the camera at the same time. Now straight up, if we were just gonna compare the cost of something like this system to like a small rig manual follow focus, then it's completely different. Like I understand that it's a lot more, but if your footage is basically unstable and just shaky, then it doesn't really matter if you saved a few hundred bucks because you can't use the footage. So now actually being able to grip your camera with both of your hands is essential because it basically distributes the weight, which means that you can shoot for much longer and you don't get fatigued as quickly. Plus having both hands on the camera and being able to really grip onto it means that your footage is gonna be so much more stable as well. Now, like I was saying, the other issue I was facing with this manual one is pulling focus over a large distance. So the great thing about the tilt to focus handle design is that with a single finger, you can do a focus pull from minimum to maximum effortlessly. And this is a huge advantage, especially when you're working by yourself. So basically how this little handle works is that it uses a uh, MPF 550 battery in the bottom. You can also get a version that uses Canon LPE6 batteries as well. And um, basically that powers the handle and also the focus motor as well. To connect the handle to the motor, there is an included micro USB cable and this provides eight volts to the focus motor. Then on the actual handle itself, you have obviously the focus wheel, you have a power button, which is also a record button if you set that up on the focus motor, and then also a calibrate button as well, which has a really cool feature as well, which I'll touch on a little bit later. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you are used to like the Nucleus Nano system and having that wireless uh, actual controller, when you connect it to this focus handle, it removes that wireless function. So it sends controls uh, directly from this or inputs directly through the cable to the motor itself. Now what I found super duper cool is that you can use it as is, you can use it as a handle and you can use it directly connected to the monitor. It removes that wireless function. But if you actually turn on the, uh, the what do you call this? The, the focus knob controller thing, uh, the wireless one, it actually connects straight away to it. So you can say like if you're doing a shot and you need a first AC or someone to pull focus for you, they can just quickly grab this, turn it on, and you connect it straight away, it's ready to go. That is super duper cool. But then once you've actually finished with the wireless controller, you do have to turn this off and then restart the handle and then recalibrate as well to get it back to that normal function. And if you ever actually try to use the Tilter Nucleus Nano system in close proximity, you know there's like these, these, there's these weird dead spots, especially if you're using it on the left side of your camera, where sometimes it just loses connection. So if you are gonna use it in this way, this is just a so much better option. So now, like I was saying, this calibrate button has an amazing feature. And if you are coming from the Tilter Nucleus Nano system and you use the actual wheel, you will know that you can actually set A and B points for your focus pull. And this is an absolute game changer to be able to now focus on actual pull every single time. So this can be set by first actually going to your first focus point, pressing the calibrate button, going to the second point and pressing the calibrate button again. And then basically what it does is it remaps the distance of the focus to the whole actual like focus wheel. So what happens is that the minimum point now becomes the hard stop on the left and the maximum point now becomes the hard stop on the right. Super typical. And the order that you actually set the two points doesn't matter. It'll figure out which is like the minimum and the maximum and then remap it after that. Now this function isn't just amazing for doing, you know, actual like focus pulls. It's amazing if you are doing like really, really, really minute focus adjustments. So say you're doing something like macro, what you can do is you can basically remap the whole wheel to be like a tiny little focus point or focus area. And then basically you have maximum control over how much you actually wanna adjust it. But in saying that, like, it, it's actually, it's really interesting. Like, the control that you actually have with this, with just a single index finger, even doing like really, really slow movements, is just insane. 
it does take a little bit of time to get used to. Like the first time I used this, I just kept overshooting my focus mark. Uh, but after a little bit of practice as well, I become very comfortable and I can pretty much now focus every single time now. Now this is all great, but it does have a downside compared to using this with say the Nucleus Nano Focus Wheel. And that is that unfortunately you're only getting eight volts from this focus handle instead of say like 14.8 volts from a V-Lock battery. So funnily enough, after doing tests on my Makey lenses, which are I guess like a lighter duty cinema lens, the wheel and the handle basically perform exactly the same no matter if there's eight volts going through it or the 14.8 volt from the actual V-Lock itself. But when I actually use this handle with the uh, Atlas Orion two times anamorphic lenses, they're obviously a lot bigger lens, a lot more heavy duty. I did notice the handle struggled a little bit just because, I have, just because of the lack of torque from the eight volt power. Uh, so that's where you'll be notice the biggest difference or the biggest drawback if you are using this for more stiffer or bigger lenses. Now there is an actual 12 volt output on this handle, but that is for the camera only, like it doesn't send any data. So if you were to actually get a cable or figure out a cable to connect this to the motor, it would power the motor up, but then any of the actual like moves that you do on the handle wouldn't be translated and sent to the actual unit itself. But even only having access to eight volts and less torque, I would still take it over one of these any day, mainly because of the stability reasons. Like I can actually grab this and stabilize the camera while also focus pulling at the same time. Because honestly, just having two hands on your camera just makes your footage so much more stable and gives you so much more control over the camera as well. And not to mention as well, it's actually really comfortable to use. Plus if you're left hand or right handed, doesn't matter, you use the exact same unit. All you do is you take out the battery and then you can just unscrew this and flip it to the other side and you're ready to go. Now, one other really weird design for that I'm not the biggest fan of on this is that it doesn't have a battery door. There's just this weird slider that actually basically like holds the battery in place and it's not recessed as well. So basically if you're having it like this and you actually knock it, then the battery is just gonna fall out, which is not ideal when you're shooting something. Now in terms of actually mounting it to your camera, you can get this in a few different mounts. I went with the rosette mount to replace one of the handles on my shoulder rig and that seems to work really good. But definitely check out the tip to site and see what other options there are for mounting this to your camera because there are some specifically for like their cages and whatnot if you do have those. So yeah, if you're in the same boat as me and you're struggling to focus while hand holding your camera and also keep it stable as well, this is by far the best option that I've found to be able to do that. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, then consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna find out any more about the Tilter Focus handle, I'll leave some links down below. I'll also leave this link to the small rig one as well. Cause again, this is an amazing actual focus handle, just not for being handheld. Like if you have it on a tripod or something or an easy rig, this works really, really good. But otherwise guys, stay creative and just be you. Have fun.